Hello. In this video, you will learn about dilations. Basically, all you need to do is multiply all of your X's and Y's by one number. That one number is called the scale factor. You multiply the X and the Y by the scale factor. You never just multiply one of them. You always multiply X and Y. So sit down, pay attention, and listen. Dilations, when the origin is the center of dilation. Basically, you just multiply every coordinate by whatever the scale factor is. Well, we haven't told you what that is yet. Let's figure out the points. So we've got point A, B, and C. And you can double check that those are the right locations. Um, and then we're going to dilate with a scale factor of 2. If we're dilating with a scale factor of 2, the new shape is going to be larger. It's going to be similar to the current triangle, but it's going to be larger. And uh, according to this, all the sides, if it's a scale factor 2, all the sides will be twice as long. Basically, you take every x value, multiply it by 2, take every y value, and multiply it by 2. So when you multiply point A, negative 3, 4, you multiply those out by 2, you get negative 6, 8. Multiply point B, multiply those coordinates by 2, 1 times 2, negative 2 times 2. And then point C, 5 times 2 and 2 times 2, so it's going to be 10, 4. And then you plot those points. You get point A, point B, point C, the new images. It's going to look like that. Don't be too worried if your new picture and the old picture aren't lined up in the center. Some kids get worried that it's not exactly in the middle. That's not a big deal. The thing you want to check into is to see that, hey, point A's angle is lining up with point A's image angle. The angles stay the same, just like with all similar figures. Angle C and angle C's image are the same. Angles B and B's image, those angles are the same. And if you really look closely, you'll see that the red triangle's lengths are twice as long as their corresponding lengths. So we'll do another one here. We've got this big triangle. We've got the points listed already. We're going to be dilating this one with a scale of one half. One half times each coordinate. Another way to think about it would be to say that you are dividing each item by 2. Now, if it was like 3 fourths, you couldn't think like this. But with 1 half dilations, you can just divide by 2. So when you work them out, you have point A's image. You're going to get that by doing negative 8 divided by 2 and negative 2 divided by 2. Do the same thing to B. Divide them both by 2. You're going to have 3, negative 3. 4 negative, or 4 10 is going to become 2 5. So when you plot those points and connect, you get a smaller triangle inside, and you label the new image points. And if you notice, uh, A's angles do line up. They're the same. C's angles and B's angles, B and B's image. So they all line up. This is a pretty easy concept, just multiplying or dividing each of the x and y's. So we're going to do one more. We've got a square and we're going to have the points listed. We're going to dilate with a scale factor of 3. So we're going to multiply negative 3 and negative 3 times 3. We're going to get the new point A being negative 9, negative 9. Point B, you go 2 times 3 is 6, negative 3 times 3 is negative 9, you're going to have 6, negative 9, and so on. You're multiplying all of the ordered pairs by 3. When you draw the new picture, you see all the points do line up. And if you notice, this original length was 5, this new length is going to be 15. It follows the same scale, scale factor rule as was followed with... Uh, similar figures. So scale factors also apply to this the same way they do with similar figures. And that's it.